Right, good morning, welcome back to another coaster craze. I was going to say crane crazy then because of the tower crane. <laughs> Just up there, but yeah, they're building a new part of the water park it looks like. Yeah, I'm at Wallaby, Belgium. Yes, I've wanted to visit this park for years. Absolute years. This is a massive bucket list park for me. Uh, and they opened up Conda a couple of years ago, um, which is a massive Intamin coaster. So looking forward to that. You've got Psych Underground, which is a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. Only ever done one of those before, and I was in Knott's Berry Farm. So uh, yeah, I'll show you the entrance. I got me tickets. Yeah, I, I, I didn't get gifted or nothing. <laughs> I did email him, but I got I got nothing back from him. It was uh, 45 pound for an adult, which I don't think is too bad. Parking was uh, 12 euros. Merci. Yeah, they speak French here. Yeah, 45 pound to get in, 12 euros um, for the parking, and I got fast passes. 50 euros, so I just spent 105 euros. Um, yeah, so the, let's go. So the park opened at 10. I think, I think it's just gone 10, yes. It's five past 10 now. Could already hear, hear some of the coasters going around. So you've got a Vekoma boomerang over on that side. You've got the Vekoma SLC. I'm walking through a shop. <laughs> so yeah, this used to be a Six Flags park. I'm mean, pretty sure everyone knows that by now. Um, it was owned by Six Flags at one point. So it was uh, Six Flags Belgium. So actually also appears in Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 as well, which is a massive, huge part of my um, sort of teenage years, really, playing on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, you've got a wooden coaster called Loop Guru, which I'm looking forward to. So I'm going to try and start at the, at the front of the park. I'd normally go at the back and obviously go on Conda first, but I'm going to get the, uh, the not so good rides out of the way first. I am so excited for this park. The reason why I've got the fast passes is because I've, I've only got about five or six hours here because obviously I need to get back to uh, Le Shuttle for my train back home tonight. Thing is with these sort of parks, the, uh, the SLCs, I don't know why, uh, always seem to get very popular. You can see it over there, it's called Vampire. Oh look at the uh, look at the wooden coaster there. It's actually a Vacoma wooden coaster. It's already did Robin Hood when it was at Wallaby Holland, which is now called Untamed at RMC. So I wanted to get on this just in case the RMC in the future, which I'm probably guessing they might do at some point. Hello! <laughs> Getting it already. <laughs> getting it already so yeah there's nine coaster credits here for me to get on um but it'd be a bit of a rush job today really so i'll get as much footage as i can you can film on rides vampire showing only 10 minutes oh there's the woody so yeah it's getting pictures and vlogging at the same time it's nice that they've got the bins in front of the uh entrance here so yeah apparently vampire was supposed to be getting a, a wreath theme in 2021 but I, I don't really know if that happened so yeah really looking forward to this place we've also got a uh, gerslauer bobsleigh coaster called Wa wakiti wakiti something like that. wakala something like that I've only ever watched a couple of vlogs from this place before anyway, so I don't, I'm not fully clued up with it all. Yeah, first ride of the day, SLC, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> if it's only 10 minutes as well, it might, yeah, there's empty seats on there, so I might even just, just do the normal queue for now. The speedy pass is over here. Might as well use it, I've paid for it. Yeah, there's also Pulsar here as well, which is a Mac Power Splash. It's a water coaster. And um, yeah, I've not mentioned it yet in any of my vlogs, but Bollywood Park in Dubai is actually closed down 
they were meant to be getting a uh, Mac power splash, but sadly that park's closed down, which was pretty sudden because they announced it and it closed down on the day that they announced it. And um, yeah, there's rumors it's going to be turned into a real Madrid theme park, which I'm, I don't know. But yeah, I need to get my chest harness on as well. There's a speedy pass already. Right, it's time to send it on Vampire. Yes, what I might do, if the queues are short, I might not bother with the speedy pass lane because I still have to wait five minutes. And the, the send, there's two trains, probably sending it out. Really loose restraint. It's digging into my shoulders though. Yeah, to be honest, it doesn't look that busy. The car parks down there uh, doesn't look too bad. Um, but a lot of people were going into the water park, which is just next door. Oh God, here we go. Wish me luck. First big coaster of the trip, here we go! That's not bad! It's not bad! Oh, he says, oh, face tunnel! Woo! Oh, love that! Here we go! It's not bad! It's better than infusion! Here we go! Oh! Oh, not bad. Oh, bit there. Oh. oh, it'd be alright if it just had new trains on it. And the bonus helix in that area there would have been great. Oh, that's not bad actually. That was alright. It's not the worst one I've been on. But SLCs are an SLC, aren't they? Yeah, speedy passes might not have been needed. Um, I've just got pulled, well, pulled into the station. It's a walk-on now, there was no one waiting. Yeah, I probably wouldn't do it again, but <laughs> I've done it, I've got the cred. And it wasn't too bad, you know. Tell you what, it's a beautiful looking park already. Yeah, I'm going straight on to Loop Guru next. But yeah, walk on. It wasn't bad at all, that. It really wasn't. Could probably do with like the new trains, the coma trains on it. But it wasn't much head bashing, it wasn't that rough. One and two. <laughs> and uh, they got one and two drawn on their heads. Oh God, there's a lot of groups here. Yeah, there's a big group of people just walked in here with green jumpers on. Right, so what I could do is, I could go the, that side of the park and do the Vekoma Boomerang and then you've got Popcorn's Revenge, which is a dark ride. Or I'll stay on this part, side of the park. Or oh, I could see Conda. <laughs> I could see Conda. Well, I'll go and do the woody first. Do you love a good woody? And there it goes. Oh! <laughs> RMC, RMC, or even just a GCI retrack. Oh yeah, the other thing is as well, mind blower, or spine blower, in a... Um, fun spot. Orlando, or oh, kissing me anyway. It's, it's, getting, it's getting a partial retract from RMC. It's probably because they watched my vlog and everyone else's videos recently because it was bloody awful, that thing. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, man, look at that. That's amazing. Bit of a waste of space here, but obviously they do concerts and things there, shows. Where's the entrance to it? I can see the station, the queue doesn't look too bad. 
It's running two trains, one's going up the state, uh, up the lift hill now. One's just pulled into the station. Uh, it's over here, Loop Guru. Yeah, fast pass is needed. It's on 40 minutes already. It's a speedy pass entrance is down here. Yeah, speedy, just look out for the signs. Speedy, speedy. So we're going straight into the station, I think. I don't know. I'm not waiting 40 minutes. Yeah, it looks, it looks like you go straight up into the station here. Loving that. I need to get my phone out to be honest to get a couple of pictures. Bye. RMC. RMC. Yeah, actually, really looking forward to this. You okay. <laughs> Enjoy. Good. Yeah, uh, love a good wooden coaster. Obviously, I did Robin Hood at Wallaby Holland before he got retracked by RMC. You can see bits of new timber here, actually. Very slow. Comfortable trains, though. They're like really, yeah, yeah cool. really nice padded seats. Yep. The lady next to me is very comfortable. <laughs> She's probably thinking, why am I sat next to this crazy English man? No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Oh, here we go. Try and keep the uh, GoPro steady. <laughs> here we go. Oh, oh my God. Oh, knock it down already. Knock it down. <laughs> Woo! Look at that It's bloody horrible, look at it wobbling! <laughs> oh, double down! Yeah! Airtime machine! It's better than Boulder at least, Burke. It's not. Here we go. Woo! Oh god, it's wobbled side to side! Was that <laughs> good? <laughs> yes. Apart from the uh, apart from the wobbling side to side, it was actually all right. Uh, yeah, airtime on it wasn't very rough at all. Pretty smooth, in fact. Pretty much ran like a, a GCI would. Uh, to be honest, I don't think it needs it. Well, it does. <laughs> Get it RMC'd. Imagine this bit here with a bank curve round into the station. That'd be well good. And a bit of a, f and a faster, faster lift hill. Well, that was ace. Yeah, that was pretty good, that. I actually enjoyed that. <laughs> Are you crying? No, yeah, it's well, the wind. wind. Yeah, same as me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I tell you what, that wasn't too bad, you know. It, it's probably not worth 40 minute queuing for. I was quite happy I got the fast passes because he scanned it and he said, go to the front. So, awesome. I think because you're wearing a GoPro, a lot of the staff are coaster enthusiasts, so they understand that you want the front row POVs and stuff like that. I actually thought that was pretty good. <laughs> it's just a bit... It just wobbles a bit. That's probably the only niggle about it. It's not rough at all. Um, some of the transitions are a bit ropey, but I quite like the double down. That was pretty cool. And... Uh, the trains are super comfortable. I said that when I was on Robin Hood at Wallaby Holland. I thought the trains were amazing, like really comfortable padded seats. In fact, far as to, to, far as to say to go, I, I would say they were more comfortable than the GCI trains. Oh, Pulsar's running. Oh man, I'm loving this park already. This is cool. POVs, fast passes, that I obviously paid for. But yeah, next ride. I think there's a mine train. She wants to be on it. You're on it. Coaster Crazy on YouTube. She's on it. 
follow me, yes. And YouTube. No time for food today as well. Toilets, if you need them there. Like I said, I'll try and film as much as the park because sometimes I find with vlogs that other people have done, um, that you don't get to see like the layout of the parks, like, you know, like this area here, there's a, oh, there's a break dance. <laughs> I didn't know that was there. Yeah, there's a break dance. I think it's the three model, is it? I don't know, Charlotte will know. Break dance one, two, I don't know. Looks like there's uh, some development over here, some construction going on. You can see the mine train at the back, drop tower. Yeah, yeah. Some kids ride around here. So yeah, there is nine roller coasters here. So I've done two already. I need to get my phone out again to make sure I knock it off on the coaster count. Uh, so yeah, Vampire, Loop Guru, this mine train, Conda, Tiki Waki, uh, Psych Underground, uh, the boomerang, kids cred, and pulsar. So I remembered. <laughs> I remembered. Yeah, so we're going into the Wild West themed area now. Look how quiet it is around here. Right, so you've got bus saw here, uh, a hus. Top spin, yeah, I'm getting them right now. <laughs> um, that's closed. No, I wouldn't go on it anyway. The drop tower looks amazing. Rest in peace, apocalypse. There's more toilets over there. Oh, the uh, food smells great. Oh, it's their barbecue stuff. I think it's called, what's it? Is it Dalton Terror? No, that's the drop tower. I don't know what the. Uh, Mine train's called. Oh, it's over there. Oh, is it Trendelimina? Oh, Calamity Mine. Could have done with like some sort of theming building at the bottom. That would have been cool. Like he was, um, I don't know, like a jail or something at the bottom. So obviously you, it's a bandit sort of themed ride. And then you take it to the top and then you drop into the jail. That would have been cool. The theming around here is brilliant. I love a Wild West theme. Oh, Condor at the back. Five minute wait for the mine train. A fast pass is needed. I don't really know. An old train here. Yeah, five minutes. I might as well just walk. I think it's a walk on. Yeah, I think it's a walk on. I might as well just walk on it, to be honest. All right, here we go on the mine train. Yeah, it was a walk-on. However, oh, I'm getting wet. <laughs> However, I should have used the speedy pass because it took, took five minutes to walk around the queue line. Yeah, I did ask about hand, using hand straps for filming. She said no, just chest harness only. And it's bags on ride with my Frontierland bag from Morecambe. I don't even know if you can even hear me. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, oh. Ooh, oh yeah, look at this bit. Backside of water. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <Get wet. laughs> Good mine train, yeah. This one is a Vacoma, just like the one at Fantasia Land. Hello, so far. Oh my god, I'm gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet. Ah, no, yeah. The one at Fantasia Land is a lot better than this. side to side as it goes to the lift hill. Here we go again. Oh, look at Condor. Oh, wow. Yeah, 
uh, the thing is as well, the new ride coming to Energy Landia this year is one of these. But it's got three lift hills. Oh, there you go. Good solid ride that. Yeah, pretty good. Not the smoothest thing, but they're not really. Yeah, I didn't need fast pass for this. It was, that was a walk on. They're actually waiting for riders. There's the other train going up now. Half empty. Calamity Man was pretty good. Yeah, not the best one of those I've ever done. The best one is at Fantasyland, which is awesome. I love that one. Uh, we're going past here. Something's closed there. Gold River Adventure. Oh, it's like some sort of boat ride. That's not been operation for ages. There's boats stacked up on the side. Um, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, it was good. Good ride that. So three down. Oh god, me. That's how bad my maths are. Six more. <laughs> I can't believe it. I had to work that out. Oh, look at this. Oh god, I love a good Gerstler bobsled coaster. You can't even hear it. Well, apart from the screaming. Oh, I love these. These are brilliant. And it just fits in the land so well. This is what I would like Blackpool Pleasure Beach to add. Something like this, a nice compact layout underneath the big one, going over towards uh, where uh, Trauma Towers used to be. So one of these would fit in there really well. Really nice custom layout. I think it's time for Conda. I think it is. It's either that or Wakala. To or Tiki Waki. What I don't know what I keep calling Wakala. What's that? I don't know what that, that is. Is that off that movie, Black Panther? <laughs> no, that's Wakanda, isn't it? <laughs> I'll just show you the map while I'm here as well. Something else a lot of... Well, something I forget to do quite a lot of as well, to be honest. So, yeah, car park. Again, nice, easy car park. I didn't even mention that. So you park right outside the entrance. You walk in. Uh, water park's here. Uh, Vampire, Lip Guru. Uh, there's a 4D cinema which walked past. I did see it. Uh, there's the event space. Uh, there's the break dance, top spin, uh, mine train, the map's really good. Conda's here, Tiki Waka's there, there's a dark ride up there that's meant to be amazing. Psych Underground, Pulsar, the log flume's meant to be really good as well. Uh, Junior Coaster, Rapids, Rapidos, Popcorn Revenge, dark ride and the boomerang, that's it. And then I'll be done. Oh, there's an Enterprise. It's not an enterprise, what am I on? A Trabant. <laughs> Mexican hat. It's not very high though. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Right, I'll just get the uh, RCDB back up to give you some information. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's a mega coaster. I don't think it's a hyper coaster. Let's go on it. So my next one, so I've, uh, Conda, RCDB. Right, so it was. Um, it opened in 2021, just after the floods. Again, I never mentioned that. This whole park was underwater in 2021, and you wouldn't believe it. You'd think this is a brand new park. It looks stunning. Obviously, they planted more trees and things. But yeah, there's this river going right through the park. So that must have burst its banks and flooded everything. Um, so yeah, it's a mega coaster. So it's under, it's under 200 foot. Anything that's over 200 foot is a. Uh, is a hyper coaster anything over 300 foot is a <laughs> giga coaster that's right yeah oh man look at this round here oh this is awesome yeah so length track length nearly 4,000 foot height 164 foot 70 mile an hour top speed uh, there's no inversions but there's 15 airtime hills and a non-inverting cobra roll which I've never done Yeah, tallest, fastest coaster in the Benelux. Right, let's get some pictures. Oh, and it's only on five minutes. Again, fast pass not want, not needed. A couple of good pictures. Five minute wait. <laughs> and Nathan. 
<laughs> I'm gonna message Nathan Powers now because he was contemplating. Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. We need all day, all day here. Not enough. Five minutes for Conda. I'll go on my app in a minute. See what it's like at Alton Towers. But I'm guessing. <laughs> I'm guessing rides are not on five minutes there. There's two lines here. I don't know what they are. Yeah, you can see. Look at the um, look at the steps here. We've gone rusty from where they had the water damage. So they just built this, and then yeah, the park got flooded. Oh man! Oh look at that! Conda, Conda, Conda! It must be running two trains as well. Man, awesome, right, I'll see you when it's getting the station. Right, here we go, time to send it. On Conda. I'm sat with a familiar face oh, from Coaster Force. I'm Serena from Coaster Force. Yeah. <laughs> I spotted the uh, yeah, I spotted the hoodie. She's wearing a Bolivian hoodie. God almighty. Right, here we go. My first ever ride in Condor, apparently it's better than Tataris. Here we go. Woo! Oh! Woo! Bloody hell! Airtime! Woo! Oh! Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah! Woo! This is the non-inviting Cobra roll! Oh wow! Oh it's so graceful! Woo! <laughs> oh, this is awesome! Wow! I can't see a thing though. Whoa! <laughs> Woo! Woo! Yeah. Little bunny hills now. Woo! Saying it right now, it's not a top 10. Oh, no, okay. not as good as Taron. Um, Nowhere near as good as Taron. You need to ride it in the back. On the back, yeah. I'll, I'll do the back next. Yeah. Was there much queue for the normal line? Because I, I can't use that again now, it's only one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's walk on. Yeah. Oh, I'll go around again. Back row next time. Yeah, terrible time to start the GoPro. There you go, you can see me now. Uh, my eyes are watering. Right, first ride. <laughs> it didn't blow me away. Like the airtime's incredible. Uh, the first drop's awesome. It's really good. However, I think I think um, Lek at um, Legendi is better than this. I mean, it's super smooth. Really comfortable trains. Fast. Great airtime, transitions are brilliant, nice and graceful. But there's just nothing around it. It's just basically it's on a field. You know, if there was a bit of a bit of water underneath it or I don't know, the theme is great. Oh I'm going around again for a back roll ride anyway, and it's walk-on, so uh, I'll probably get a couple of rides before before I leave. But uh Hello. Hi. Sorry, I'm putting into your conversation. <laughs> oh. Okay. But what do you guys think? I mean, you've done it a few times now. Yeah, this, so this is our third time at Wallaby Belgium since Condor opened. Wow. It is one of those coasters that keeps me coming back to this park. It is in my top 10. Is it really? It is because I love that airtime hill. It's well good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I had to actually held on then. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is, it's pretty intense. Yeah. Um, yeah, I really love Condor. It's, it's a top 10 ride. I think you love Oblivion as well, don't you? I mean... <laughs> it's an old one, though. Well, yeah. It's an old one and it was on sale. It was, <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a no-brainer, really, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think, too? It's my second time back in the park since Condo opened, and it's a great coaster. I mean, as you said, that first airtime hill is incredible. I'm not so keen on the ending of it, particularly there's that weird sort of step-down hill that just feels awkward, and then the three hills at the end should be one big one, I think. But other than that, like the invert non-inverting top part's great fun. Cobble roll. Just a Sorry, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> I know where you went. Yeah, and it's just a fantastic ride. And you said, while we was on there, before before I turned the camera on, 
You think this is better than Tartarus? Yeah, I think this is better than Tartarus at Park Asterix. Yeah. We were at Park Asterix yesterday. Maybe I should have gone there today. Oh. However, <laughs> I did say one cred there, nine creds here. Wow. Again, yeah. no brainer. Yeah. Well, what do you think, mate? Yeah, it's it's fantastic. I, in terms of like the new big intermins in Europe, I'd say that Hyperion is still my favourite. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. And uh, and then I'd say this comes second, and two towers is third. But that's not to take anything away from them. They're all fantastic rides. They're, they're all different, aren't they? I mean, like Taran's nothing like uh, Hyperion. Yes. And Hyperion's nothing like this. Yeah. Uh, you know, they're so, totally different rides. I mean, Hyperion is like in my top five. It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. I love the theme, I love the way it rides, the, uh, every, the elevated seats, yeah. the first drop, the airtime, that's yeah. great, you know. Night rides on it are awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I've not done a night time oh ride, but I've been to Fanta uh, sorry, en Energy Landia three times. Yeah. So hopefully next time I might do a. If you go for yeah, Halloween, the there. park stays open really, really late and you can get so many night rides. And um, when you drop off Hyperion in the dark, you can't see a thing. It's wow. like just going into the dark. It's yeah. amazing. One thing I'd say about Condor is I'm a big fan of this area. It's beautiful, it's isn't it? It's really, really pretty. Like yeah, yeah. I really like the story of the ride yeah. as well. So where's the normal queue at then? Because I think I walked in the wrong bit. Because <laughs> I did use my... Speedy pass. The normal queue is in there if you take the right hand. Right, it's not right signposted hand. very well, is it? No. But anyway, I'll see you later, guys. One tip for well, your on, as well. So if you're below six feet, um, <laughs> you, what you can do is if you <laughs> if you cross your legs underneath the seat, you can lift your feet off the floor, and that actually enables you to feel the air time more. All oh, so right, okay, I'll do a bit that. Of advice for uh, anyone out there. <laughs> Happy days. If you're above six feet, then just enjoy being tall. Just enjoy it. Yeah, yeah just enjoy the. View. <laughs> right, I'm going again. I'll Have see you later, time. guys. Right, I'm off again. Back roll this time. <sighs> yeah, well, I, I, I mean, I don't know why I compared this to uh, Lek, uh, Legendia, to be honest, when I should have really compared it to Hyperion. That is a hypercoach, so that's over 200 foot. And um, it's not as good as Hyperion. I mean, I know a couple of people that raved about this. Bruno and Anita. <laughs> There's quite a few people that have been here and loved it and said it was one of the best coasters they've ever been on, but it's all right. <laughs> it's all right. It's not, it's nothing like amazing or anything like that. I mean, the theming's great. I mean, this coaster probably wouldn't look out of place at a, a Polish park or something like that, you know, or Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Yeah, I went around the wrong bit. It's not signposted. Alright, so we're now on the very back. I actually wanted the row in front because you obviously can't see a lot. And I have got you in horizon lock. Because I just realised I don't think anyone's done a horizon lock POV on here. Not like you've got to see anything anyway. Just enjoy the view. It's so smooth though. Here we go. Bloody hell! Oh, oh! Air time! Uh, not so much. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Uh. Woo! It's not as smooth on the back. Compared to the front. Woo! Ugh. Yeah, this bit's pointless. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. <laughs> It's not as good as Hyperion, or Taran, or Expedition G-Force. Yeah, it's all right though, it's all right. Yeah, I'm not really a merch sort of person to be honest. Um, I do have, I do like my uh, Velocicoaster t-shirt though, which is miles better than this, yeah. I'm sorry if there's anyone watching this thinking that they've been out here and thought that was the best coaster in Europe. No, far from it. I, I would... One word, 
forgettable. <laughs> it's one of them coasters that you go on it and you know you forget that you've been on it to be honest. Uh, the back row was all right. I got more airtime on the front. Obviously, you get pushed over the airtime hills. The back row was quite rattly. Um, it's it is a nice smooth ride. Don't get me wrong. It's absolutely stunning. I mean, it looks great at the back of the park. Just, mm, I just, I just got nothing off it <laughs> apart from messy hair <laughs> and my eyes are streaming. Uh, yeah, it was all right. It was all right. Um, out of the new generation intermins as we like to call them it's it's all right it's like Taran's better hyperion's better velocity coast is better um yeah <laughs> i'm looking forward to getting onto taris um if i get another free weekend i'll probably just drive down and, and do like a two-day trip to park asterix i have been but it was a long time ago uh so i've only got the one credit there I just always wanted to come to this park. It's absolutely stunning. And to say it was flooded is incredible. I mean, you can tell all this is new round here. You can just tell. It's, it's like new grass and new planting and stuff. Right, I think there's the uh, dark ride here. I'll we'll go and do this and I'll do Tiki Waki. Uh, and then just work around the park. I don't even know what time it is. I think it's about 12 o'clock. Oh, we can do speedy pass on this, but... Oh, it's not even 12 o'clock. 20 past 11 park opened at 10 and I've done five coasters already <laughs> happy day oh two two on the two on the conda so six really uh, two and car moon interactive shooting dark ride this should have decent throughputs on it it does say five minutes so I don't know maybe what I should have done was was go to the rides where I didn't need a speedy pass and then probably just got a one shot speedy pass because they do them for seven euros for one ride it's seven euros for one ride which i think is great most parks should do that so i might have just wasted 50 euros because <laughs> you can only use it once on each ride and if this is not that busy then i was probably pointless getting it Oh, you know what, there's a, there's a, bit, a bit of a line. Yeah, it's not too bad.
Tutankhamun. Um, yeah, really nice trackless dark ride. Um, uh, the, 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 the guns need to go. <laughs> I'm all for interactive shooting dark rides when they're done really well. However, that's... <sighs> Again, it, it sort of distracts from the ride. Um, the theming's amazing in there. The lighting's really good. I mean, you've seen it on the POV. It's not very, it's very rare I can get a good POV on a dark ride with a GoPro. But yeah, I, I didn't shoot, really. I, I had a couple of goes, but it's... It's one of those ones where it's a big red dot and yeah, it's a bit off putting. It's a bit like um, it's like the one at Chessington or Laser Raiders or anything like that. But it's a trackless dark ride. Really, really good. Um, but yeah, the, the, the shooting element needs to go. They need to sort of do something with that to make it so it doesn't need that on it. Right, I'm going on Tiki Waka now, which says 30 minutes. Apparently, there's a single uh, single rider line. Uh, speedy pass is down here. Yeah, single rider and speedy pass down this way. There's a tiki theatre. That looks really good. Don't know what they're doing there. I'm not really into shows. Yeah, this looks beautiful around here. Love a good. But Gerslauer bobsled coaster, Cobra at Poulton's Park's one of my favourite family coasters in the country, well, in the UK. I loved that, that was awesome. You can't beat a good Gerslauer bobsleigh coaster. Really good family coaster. Really smooth, nice transitions, comfortable seats. Walk on with a fast pass, happy days. Right, now I'm going round to what is my most anticipated ride here at the park. Something I've been looking forward to ride oh, for a long time. Psych Underground, which used to be called Turbine at one point. It was called something else when it first opened. But yeah, this features on Roller Coaster Tycoon. Another little flat ride just here, like teacups, I think. Yeah, a little teacups ride, there's like four people on that. So yeah, Psych Underground, if you've played Roller Coaster Tycoon, you get Turbine. You just get the loop inside the building and you can get rid of that and just have the standard Schwarzkopf shuttle loop as it is. Used to be one at Alton Towers, I never got to ride it. Thunder Looper, but gutted I never got to ride that. But I have done Montezuma's Revenge at Knott's Berry Farm, which is actually getting the loop retracked by Tazica Roller Coasters of the UK. So the plans for it. Yeah, really nice park. Um, it's quite a lot of open space, which is really nice. Loads of benches everywhere to sit down. Yeah, really enjoying it so far. Oh man, what an impressive looking thing this is. 
This is amazing, yeah. So when it was first built, obviously it was a standard um, Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. So you get the flywheel launch out the station into the loop that's in this building here and then up the spike there and then back through the loop, back through the station and back up the spike at the other end. They then put the loop in the building to cut the noise down and then they covered the whole thing it's, oh, and, and it was just um, recently done by Gerslauer so it's got a LIM -L launch motor on it and it's got Gerslauer trains on it now this looks amazing All right, so it's 15 minutes there. I can't see the sign for Fast Pass. So here's the old motor. And the track's just above it here. It's now a LIM launch, not LSM. Psych Underground. Oh man, I have waited so long to get on this. I've built it so many times on Roller Coaster Tycoon as well, as, as, it, as it was called Turbine. down here I might as well go again speedy pass I couldn't find the speedy pass queue line that was amazing that loved it <laughs> yeah I couldn't find the speedy pass I did it did say 15 minutes I'm pretty sure I only waited 10 hello hello hello, hello. 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 wallaby belgium yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What is your favourite ride? Best ride here? Uh, no, this. Yes. Yeah, German oh. quality. Ah. Yeah. No, Sirocco. Huh? Sirocco. Sirocco. Oh, this is what it used to be called, the first one. Oh, thank you, I couldn't remember what it was called. And then Turbine from Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh man, what a classic coaster. I mean, it's that classic. I actually went around for a second go and it broke down. <laughs> I was sat on the train and it just stopped. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a bit nauseous now. Uh, so I've just done Psych Underground twice in a row. That was amazing. Like really good classic Schwarzkopf coaster. And it looks incredible. It's a huge ride. I mean, it's not the biggest or the longest. I love in this lake here in the middle. Oh, there's the log flume going over to do Pulsar, which I think is down because it's just sat on the turntable. I don't think that's running. Oh, no, what a shame. Pretty sure it was going this morning. Oh, no, there's people on it. There is people on it. It's just sat there, though. It's not moving. I think that's gone down as well. Yeah, so when they had the floods, all of this was all underwater, the whole the whole coaster. Apparently this is a splash zone. 
doesn't look very wet here. It's a bit of water on here. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's not running. Hello. Hello. What's your name on YouTube? Coaster Crazy. Oh, nice one. Uh, yeah, you're on it now. I think this is broken. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Oh, you got the log flume there. Yeah, I think um, Pulsar's having technical difficulties. You got the kids coaster over there, and then you got the boomerang, and then Popcorn's Revenge, Dark Ride. That's it. And then I've done the park. Hey, it's 20 past 12. Is it 20 past 12? Yeah, 20 past 12. Oh my God, I've only been in the park two hours. And I've done so much. I'll go and do the. Uh, I'll go and do the log flu. What oh, a beautiful park, though. Really, really nice. Saying that Wallaby Holland is a nice park as well. Yeah, they got a speedy pass. Oh, hang on, hang on. Is a speedy pass here? Yeah, yeah. You walk round this way. Are they soaking wet? Oh, they're not too bad. Love a good log flume. I think this is a Mac. Log flume as well. Or is it one of the arrows? Oh. <laughs> Walking back to the main queue line now. Oh yeah, the entrance is over there anyway. Right, so here we go. Uh, flashback it's called. I, I'm guessing it's walk on because there's a lot of empty boats coming through, but I'll use me I'll use me fast pass since I've got it. Oh. Yeah, they were a lovely family uh, from France. I wanted a photo, they're all following me as well now. I'll just walk on the gravel, the gravel path. <laughs> yeah, Pulsar's still on the turntable. Might be a spite. Yeah, I actually went to a park yesterday in France called Cité Park. And by the time I got there, it was closed. Apparently they don't let adults on the coaster anyway. According to Martin. Whoa! <laughs> I'm gonna get soaked. Right, I don't think I needed to be speedy pass for this. It was walk on. There was literally not a single person in the station. So, I mean, it's not very often I buy fast passes anyway. I've only ever bought them a few times uh, visit, when I've been visiting parks. I can't remember where it was. We went somewhere and someone said, oh, buy fast passes. And we got there and the park was dead. We walked on every single ride. I can't remember where that was now. So yeah, sometimes it's always best to assist you. Whoa, whoa, ah! Oh, backwards drop. It's always sometimes better to uh, see what the situation's like with the rides, really. You might not have to waste your money. Oh yeah, Pulsar's working now. I'll go and do that after this. I'm wet. No, I don't mind getting even wetter. Then Valhalla. <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> yeah, this is an old ride. Probably opened when the park did. You got a double drop at the end. So yeah, there is a rapids here as well, but uh, uh, if it's a massive soaker, then I don't want to be getting massively soaked because I've got like a three hour drive back to the uh, to the channel tunnel. Or oh, as it's called on this side, Le Chateau. Yeah, this is it, this is the last bit really. Up here, round the top, and down the double drop. I, 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 I,
Yeah, it's like a boat ride down there. That looks like it's been closed for a long time. You can see all the workings, all the cables and stuff on the, on the ground. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! man <laughs> oh well the camera is soaked oh uh, i'm not that i'm not that bad i'm not that bad oh the camera is soaked oh it's gonna get wet again wetter than valhalla all right there you go an excellent log flume i'm not massively soaked i think my camera got wetter than i did yeah pulsar is now running let's go and have a look Now that's a splash. <laughs> I don't know how wet you get. Yeah, basically it's a launched uh, water coaster. So you come out of the station and you get a launch backwards over the hump there, just behind me. It goes over this water bit here, up that spike there. And then as it goes back, the water actually fills up in here. I don't know how it does it. Um, but there, then you get wet. Just like to get something sugary. I need to get something to eat. I don't. I know this sounds weird, and I nearly slipped then. <laughs> um, I know this sounds weird, but when I'm on my own, I don't tend to eat that much. Um, I should do, really. <laughs> I really should. Uh, yeah, they're running it. It's running now. I'll go on this now. And then you've got a kid's coaster over there. And then another really good dark ride, and then the, bo uh, the boomerang, and then that's it. I might have to, I might walk back, see what Conda's like. Might have warmed up a bit. So here's another launch here. And go through the splash. Boosh. Oh my god. <laughs> Her kids got soaked. <laughs> Yeah, it's got a um, reverse turntable loading station on it. Looks really cool. I remember when uh, Sean from Theme Park Worldwide, they actually came out for the opener of this. Yeah, cool. Let's get on it. All right, let's go. Speedy pass. Oh. Yeah, there's like... There's not many people waiting for this at all. It's so, such a quiet park, actually. I mean, it's pretty spread out, I suppose. So, nothing's rammed. Yeah, look how quick that is. I mean, the entrance is just there. Here we go on Pulsar. I don't know if I'm got well how much I'm gonna get wet, but I'm sort of sat in the middle on the front. There we go. Ah! All right, so there's no water in there now. I don't know how this works. Here we go, launch. Woo! Oh, oh no! Come on! Another launch. Ah! Yeah, wait a time. There's the water, there's the water. Here we go. Oh, not bad, not bad. 
<laughs> Not bad. <laughs> He's soaked. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, that's the ball. Wow. Oh, that's the ball. That was awesome, that. Oh, it's good. It's yeah, good. very good. <laughs> oh, the little girl, bless her. She's soaking. Where are you from? Uh, England. England. Yeah. That was excellent, that. Yeah, I need one of these in like Florida or um, Dubai. Oh, I tell you what, I love that. <laughs> that was brilliant. Yeah, I didn't get too wet actually. Just bit on, bit on my face really. I think me uh, my hair's ruined now. Might have to put my cap on in a bit. Um, right, I've got two more creds to do, and I've done the park. And the time is currently. It's not even one o'clock yet. <laughs> So in three hours, I've pretty much done the whole park, so not bad going at all. So I've just got the junior coaster across the uh, the lake, say lake, what is it? It's not a lake, is it? Yeah, it's a lake, yeah, pond, lake, that over there. And then I've got the boomerang behind me and a dark ride. That's it, that's pretty much all, other than, the, oh, and the rapids, other than the few flat rides, the drop tower, I've pretty much done everything. Yeah, really like that. Like I said uh, at the end of the ride, I don't understand why there's none of the. Well, there is one in America. They're building one at a Six Flags park. I think Six Flags over Texas are getting one of these. Um, theme to Aquaman. Well, something like this at Bush Gardens would do really well. Definitely, something like this in Florida is a must. Um, the UK, eh, not, not, not so much. I mean, Alton Towers could have something like this if they dug it down somewhere. Or uh, Drayton Manor. I don't really know. That's the thing about us enthusiasts. We go on a ride and we go, oh, well, really like that coaster at a park. And then can't really decide which part you want it on. But yeah, other than, like, like I said, the drop tower, which is over there. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of drop towers, but if I have time, I'll go around and do it. I'd like to do Conda before I go. Uh, obviously, let it warm up. There it goes again. Look at the three puts on it. Good old Mac. Um, I'll say there's stuff on the other side as well, like the kids' area. Got the kids' coaster to do over there, the little uh, Zero coaster, and then all the stuff down at the other end. Hopefully try and find something to eat, because I've not seen anything that I fancy yet. Right, fun pilot. Yeah, still got the social distancing markers down here from like two, three years ago. Yeah, this is a uh, 2019 Zero Force 190 model. There's not much else to tell you about here really, it's just a kids co- oh god, it was walk on, there's all these kids just running past me now. Yes, walk on. He can use speedy pass and it's a two lap special. Can't believe I'm on a train full of kids. <laughs> I'm the only adult on it. Yes, yeah. Coaster crazy, you're on it, look, you're on it. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Woo! Hey, go back, you don't do that. Woo! Turn that special. Woo! I can see why all the kids keep running around to go on it. Oh, look at them all. Yeah, yeah. One more time. One more time. Lisa, 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 this is YouTuber. YouTuber? YouTuber. YouTuber. Are you a YouTuber? I'll have to try it. <laughs> YouTuber? Well, when it's such a... Here we go. Whoa! <laughs> 33,000. Lots. Yeah. Yeah, 
YouTuber. Good, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Never underestimate a kid's coaster. That was brilliant, that. I'll tell you what, never underestimate a kid's coaster. Shameful credit, Scott Bickerton would say. Because they're brilliant, that first drop was great. I loved that, really good. Two lap special, zero force, happy days. Just what you want here. Uh, nice little kids area around here, actually. A couple of kids rides, a little play park. There's one of them spinning bus rides over there. There's a tracked ride over there. I think some sort of Jeeps or something over there. So yeah, really nice play areas, like a little train over there. <coughs> What's that there? Oh, snacks, ice creams. So saying, I haven't really found any restaurants or anything where it looks, you know, good enough. I'm saying that good enough, I've, I've not seen any, I haven't actually walked past a, a, a single restaurant yet. At least I don't think I have. <laughs> oh, is this the, oh, this is the madhouse, isn't it? Uh, Pal Palace du Genie. Ten minute wait. Say ten minutes, there's no one here. I think they just I just think they just let everyone in. You know what, I'm not I'm not the biggest fan of madhouses. It's basically like Hex at Alton Towers if you don't know don't know what I'm for common madhouse is. I don't know where I'm going. Do you walk around this bit? There's a there's a chain across there. Oh, and this is a dead end. Oh, oh it's around here. I'm the only person in here. It's like being back in Dubai. <laughs> if you've never been to Dubai, this is what all the rides are like. Dead. Awesome. <laughs> Oh, it's actually really nice inside here. It's like a fountain and stuff in the middle. Really, really nice themed madhouse. Here. They even give you a lotus biscotti, which you dip in there. Oh yeah. Mmm. Just waiting for me panini now. I need a coffee, definitely. This lad here, he's got an Energylandia hoodie on. It's a really nice hoodie actually. Right, so I didn't find the uh, the really nice restaurant, but the panini was all right. Yeah, I did ask for the tandoori, but she gave me, uh, um, what was it, ham and cheese is what I got. Anyway, it was very nice. And they were here a popcorn revenge and a five minute wait. So no fast passes on this one. This looks pr pretty much walk on. And walking into here reminds me of being in Dubai, I don't know why, or somewhere, well, like a Disney park, the theme is, re is you know, it's really nice in here. So this is an interactive shooting dark ride, is it three, I think it's 3D as well. So this is the sort of ride you'd find at like, say, Phantasialand or, you know, somewhere like that really.
it's just like a cinema, it's brilliant. Teddies. Yeah, I've got to say that was um, that was really good. Actually, one of the most unique dark rides I've ever been on. I thought that was awesome. I like the um, movie sort of style ones. You got the Hulk there. That's great. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. I actually thought it was 3D, unless they're taking it off. I don't know, but yeah, very good. Trackless dark ride, interactive. It's unique. It's different. It was well themed. Um, it rode really well as well. So yeah, last coaster here to do is the boomerang. I think it just started to rain as well. Good old Vekoma boomerang. Can't actually remember what this one's called. Is it Viper, a Python, or something like that? Have to have a look. Uh, cobra. I know I wasn't far off, was I? I could see the snakes. Oh, I think it's gone down. I think it's gone down. Oh my God, you better not be kidding me. There's a guy stood at the entrance. It says five minutes, he's just stood there on the radio. I think it's gone down. Right, so Cobra the Boomerang is still down. I've just actually just been on uh, Popcorn's Revenge again. I've used my fast pass that time. Walked straight onto it and got a completely different scene this time. Got a, like a spooky one uh, this time and then yeah, it was just a different scene and yeah, it was pretty cool. The lad that was next to me got 99999. I wonder if, yeah, I'm like, he must have been cheating or something. I don't know how he got that, but yeah, the weather's really bad now. Wind and rain. So I don't know what's going to happen now. I really need to get on this credit here. Um, and I was got to do a few more re-rides. Um, I was got to go around and see what Loop Guru was on. I really wanted to do that again, but looking like it, it's not looking. It's not looking good really for the for the weather. I'll just hang around here for a bit because I really need the credit, obviously, of the boomerang, which is just behind me. Uh, I just looked at. Oh, they're testing it now. I uh, just looked at the times as well for getting back. It's about a two and a half hour drive. So if I set off now. I'd, I'd get to the Le Shuttle at half four, which is what, like two two hours too early. So I've got at least another at least another hour, maybe two hours here to uh, to play with. Uh, yeah, so they're just testing the boomerang. I'll get under the shelter a bit. So another thing I need to do is actually get myself a small umbrella for when it's raining, so I can hold the umbrella and obviously not got spots of rain on the lens.
But no, no matter how bad the Coma boomerangs are, they always look amazing off ride. And especially when you got a tower crane right next to it as well. Should uh, start up the other channel. Crane crazy, get a bit of footage for the for the uh, for the channel. So tower cranes are used to obviously build stuff in theme parks as well. So it looks like they're building an extension to the water park. There's some new slides being built at the back. Right, it's literally just opened. Uh, I was just stood over there for about two minutes. Probably not even that, a minute or so. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully. I don't, no, I'm not counting it yet until I've been on it. So hopefully getting me final credit here. So nine coasters today, another Energylandia fan. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Energylandia. <laughs> yeah, nine coasters done. Plus the other six I did yesterday. Happy days. Not looking forward to this at all. Not only the coma boomerang, it's chucking it down. I'm gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet. I'm gonna get wet. Ah no! Oh no! Oh god, I hate these. Yeah, this might be my last ride, unfortunately. Right underneath this tower crane, it's right behind me. Oh my god, it's chucking it down. I'm surprised. Surprised the rides are still running. Oh god. Yeah, to be honest, I can't really see much going around. Oh yeah, um, Loop Guru's going around. That's about it, really. Oh, oh god, I forgot what I was doing then. Ah! Tower crane. Oh, just bash my right head on my right here. Oh god, what am I doing? There we go. Oh, backwards. Ah. Horrible things. Oh god, that was awful. God, look at the state of me. Yeah, the uh the coma boomerang. I bashed my left. No, that's my left, that's my right. <laughs> In this part first part of the coma roll, I bashed my right ear. Oh, it's quite sore actually. Never mind. But yeah, I'm soaked uh, just from that ride. Stunned under a bit of cover here now. That could possibly be my last ride here. Um, I mean, what time is it now? Like I said, it's I've got, I've got yeah, it's not even half two yet. Uh, two and a half hours to get to the shuttle, so get there at five. The train's not till twenty past seven. So what I could do is, if I had the time, I could go to Belwadi and get a couple of coaster creds there. But I'm not spending any more money. I get this off ride for you or a bit a bit of off ride and then I've, i might walk over to loop guru see what that's on and then just take it from there i'm nowhere i'm going on condor in this weather now obviously with it being wet i mean it might ride really quick because of the wet track but i'll get soaked on it <laughs> i might as well go on the rapids to be honest right earlier it was on 40 minutes walk on for me with the fast passes now five minutes looks like people are queuing straight up into the station here um still running two trains one of this train that's just coming now um i think i don't know if it's that one yeah yeah one of the one of the carriages is actually completely empty so yeah i'll lay it up in a minute see what the weather's if it's still chucking it down i i'm not doing another pov waiting it 
Eh? <laughs> vlog, in the vlog, yes. Uh, I, I know you on YouTube. Uh, is that it? Yes, I YouTube. saw you, man. Coaster crazy. Yeah, I don't want to do another wet POV because it just doesn't look good, does it? Uh, hi, YouTube. Hello. YouTube. Hello. How are you? Good. Oh, yeah, I practically walk on the, uh, I got to the top of the stairs. The woman's like, any single riders? I was like, yep. Yeah. So I just walked past like 15 people. That was really good in the wet. Brilliant, yeah. I love a good wooden coaster. I really, really do. That's not bad at all. I was sort of towards the back of the train. I would have filmed it, but you wouldn't see a lot. It's just, you can see it, it's, it's chucking it down. I'm soaking wet now. So what I'm going to do is the plan is to walk back down towards Conda and have a couple of rides in there and then I'm got to go. I mean, yeah, there's the, uh, oh, there's the pizza solo restaurant there. That's the only restaurant I've seen here. You do have the break dance. I'm not going on anything like that in the rain now. Just go on Conda again. Hopefully it's not a massive queue. It's not far away, it's just down here really. And then I'm uh, got to make a move, but I've really enjoyed it today. It's a bit of a shame it's now raining. I mean, it's not just raining, it's chucking it down now. It's horrible. But yeah, Loop Guru, even if he gets RMC'd, it'd be really, really cool. But even if he doesn't, it just gets a bit of track work. That bottom of the first drop's terrible. And then you go up into that left-hand turn and he just sort of wobbles everywhere. I mean, it's not rough at all. Um, and the trains are actually really comfortable. But uh, I think there's only two Vekoma wooden coasters left in the world. Could be wrong. Might, that might only be the, the only one, but uh, I'll see in a bit when I get to Conda. Here we go, Conda in the rain. Oh no. <laughs> uh, this is going to be horrible. Horrible. Oh no. I thought I had to do it for the last ride. This has got to be fast. Here we go. Woo! Oh my god! Woo! Oh wow! Ejector! I can't see anything! Ah! Oh my god! say about that oh my god I had my eyes closed most of that I, there was a one bit of rain hit me there on my head it really painful yeah it's good in the rain it's fast ow really like just there it hit me hard yeah in the rain it's fast it's it makes your hair a mess um, it's still it's still missing something for me that first airtime hill is amazing you get massive ejector airtime on there uh, there's a couple, I mean it's supposed to have 15 points of airtime on it, but for me, uh, ejector airtime, like two points on it. Uh, the non-inverting Cobra roll's pretty good, uh, the trains are nice and comfortable obviously because they're really good interim trains. It just does nothing for me, it really, I don't know, I mean I think I must have had a better ride on um, Loop Guru than I have on this, which is really odd, but I just had a ride with me French buddy. I don't know his name. What is your name? Kevin. Kevin? Yes. Kevin, a very French name. Yeah, yes. Sort of. <laughs> He's wearing the, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Energylandia Coastaholic hoodie. We saw him before when I was getting the panini. What do you think to Conda? It's a good coaster. I can uh, better. Yeah? Taron better. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Hyperion butter. It's good custom. Yeah. For his park, it's good custom. Which do you prefer, this or Tutaris? Uh, this. You prefer Conde, this? Conde is better for me. Really? See, yes. yeah, there's a few people have said they prefer this to Tataris. Yes. And then some people say they prefer Tataris to this. It's yes. mixed opinions, I think. Uh, yes. yes. Yeah. But anyway, it was nice to meet you, Kevin. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think I think that's it for me here. But yeah, subscribe to my channel, Coasty yes. Crazy. He's a big coaster enthusiast from France. But yeah, I had a really good day today. Right, one last ride in the rain with my mate Kevin from France. Uh. <laughs> yeah, we did have to wait a while. It did go down. Uh, they tested it with two trains empty. It's still raining, obviously. <laughs> oh God, well, it's jolting to side to side here. RMC. RMC. I just think though, me and Kevin were saying we would like an RMC. An, an, Another an, RMC. Yeah, in a different location, like at the back of the park somewhere, and keep this. Then the only, then the only problem is this bottom of this drops a bit, a bit rough, isn't it? Oh. Here we go. and it was okay <laughs> oh man I can't believe it I, I did it before I thought it was the best wooden coaster I've ridden no that was awful then he's just shuffling side to side again maybe it's the red train I think I went on the blue train before but there you go that's my day here at Wallaby Wallaby Belgium loved it what a great park and it's nice to meet Kevin it's all wet yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh God, I better look a right mess now. Right, that's it. That's uh, my day here at the amazing Wallaby. Yeah, I've absolutely loved it here today. It's that good. I might get a Loop Guru t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe once if I seed it or something. But yeah, loads of merch in here. There's like caps and hoodies. That'd be hilarious, wouldn't it? If I got a cap, Loop Guru cap. People were like, why have you got that on? Well, I quite enjoyed it, to be honest. Pulsar was very good. Conda, mm, um, I wouldn't rush back to this park purely for Conda. I don't know why. It just didn't do anything for me, really. It's, it's, I don't know. Them bunny hills at the end are a bit pointless. A couple of airtime hills were great. Um, but yeah, I've got to get a drink. I think the best ride for me here today, I don't know. I really don't know. I mean, Psych Underground, yeah, it was amazing. I did it twice, but I came off and I felt sick. Um, it definitely wasn't the uh, SL, SL, oh God. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it definitely wasn't the SLC, that's for sure anyway. Um, it's probably, well, I say it's probably the only coaster I've only done once. I did Tiki Waka once, Pulsar once. I don't know, my favorite coaster, I don't know. The the second time I went on Loop Guru was pretty good, to be honest. Uh, quite enjoyed that. I don't know if it was the blue train that I went on that was a bit smoother. Um, overall, I think the park's great. I would like to return in the future. I don't know if they allow dogs or not. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure they don't, so probably wouldn't come back with Lisa and Tilly in the future. Would come back with Martin and Charlotte or some mates or something like that that I've never been before. I've, I know the layout of the park's really good. It just 
basically loops around the lake in the middle. The rides have got a great, there's two amazing trackless dark rides here. Plenty of shops and I did see a few restaurants, although um, I didn't go into any. Uh, the Panini was quite nice. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say really. I mean, like the landscaping's really pretty. Um, the park's really clean as well. I know there's no rubbish anywhere, so they must spend a fortune cleaning it up and there's been no trouble there's no like nasty people here yeah I've really enjoyed it it's actually one of my favorite parks in Europe and I always wanted to visit this place ever since playing Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 uh, I mean I actually still have it on my phone actually you can download to Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 on your phone um, I've really enjoyed it I just the, the rain's put a bit of a damper on the end of the day the Condor's all right it's not amazing don't expect to come here thinking it's an amazing roller coaster i mean you might like it um but just for me i preferred the likes of um well towering obviously uh velocity coaster exhibition g-force um let coaster even icon things like that I, d I don't know what it was with conda just didn't hit it on the head for me unfortunately right i'm gonna get a drink in the shop and then i've got to go but yeah while you're here don't forget to do this on the side of the screen comment like and subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you in the next one <laughs> hopefully somewhere that's a bit drier but yeah i've had an amazing day today get yourselves over to europe come and see something new i've had a really good weekend i won't be filming anything else obviously i've got to go back on the uh the shuttle back to England I won't bother getting any more footage I didn't really do a travel vlog it's all in integrated into stuff hotel I stayed in last night the Ibis was all right uh, nothing to shout about but no I've had a really good time on my own it's been a bit boring if I'm honest <laughs> um, but I do enjoy my own company so that's not a massive problem plus I met Kevin today and a few other people but yeah hope you've enjoyed the vlog I'll see you in the next one bye for now